Good day, class! In this video, let's learn together how to operate a sewing machine. Sewing machines may look terrifying and creaky to those who are not familiar with them. However, don't let the fear of an unknown machine and skill set keep you from doing the textile job. Use this video to learn how to set up and use a sewing machine to begin crafting your textile products. Let us start threading the bobbin. Perhaps the trickiest part of using a sewing machine comes at the very beginning, threading the sewing machine bobbin. To wind a sewing machine bobbin, you will need to load the upper thread and the lower thread. The machine will weave these two threads together to create stitches in your material. Every sewing machine is slightly different when it comes to threading. Start with your empty bobbin and a spool of thread. Place your spool of thread on the spool pin. Make sure you are using a bobbin that follows your sewing machine dimensions. Begin passing thread into the bobbin winder. To do this, place a spool of sewing thread on your machine's thread pin or your spool pin at the top of your machine. Pull the thread to the left of your machine and wind it counterclockwise around the pre-tension disc. Work the thread end through the two small holes in your empty bobbin and wind the thread several times around the bobbin center pillar. Insert the bobbin into the shuttle. This shaft is also known as a bobbin winder spindle or bobbin winder pin. On some machines, you will hear the bobbin click into place if you turn it clockwise. Next is to thread the sewing machine. Our sewing machine manual is the best place to learn how to thread your sewing machine. When you're ready to thread your sewing machine, you will wind the thread from a spool on top to the thread guide and then around the take-up lever. This is the lever located on the sewing machine's front left side. There are typically numbers and arrows printed next to it directly to you to thread the machine. When threading a sewing machine, be sure to thread them with the presser foot up. When the presser foot is in the upward position, the tension is released, which allows the thread to sit itself properly. And it will be easy to thread if the presser foot is up to the thread the needle easily. Drawing the bobbin thread. Hold the needle thread down and towards you. Make one complete needle down up revolution by turning the handle toward you. Now pull up the needle thread that you are still holding. The bobbin thread was caught when the threaded needle went down and up and is now looped over the needle thread. Pull on one side of the loop to bring up the bobbin thread tail. You should now have the ends of two threads, one from the needle and one coming up from below the bobbin. Setting the stitches. Select a straight stitch and a medium stitch length. You can consult your manuals for how to do this in your machine. On this machine, stitches are set by pulling the stitch regulator's level up and down until it clicks into place. Always set the stitch with the needle up and out of the fabric since it may move the needle. Setting the presser foot There is a lever behind or to the side of the needle assembly that raises or lowers the presser foot, depend on what machine you are using. If you give the fabric a gentle tug with the presser foot down, You'll feel that the machine grips is pretty firmly. While you sew, the machine uses a feed dock under the presser foot to advance the fabric at the correct speed. There's no need to pull the fabric through the machine. In fact, pulling can bend the needle or damage your project. You can adjust the speed and the stitch length on the machine. 
practice on some scrap materials. Choose a simple, woven material, not a neat one, for your first sewing experience. Don't use a thick fabric for your first attempt at sewing machine. Denims and flannel can be hard to sew because they are too thick when several layers are piled together. The treadle is your speed control. Just like the gas pedal in a car, the harder you push it, the faster you will go. Push it slowly at first, just enough to get the machine going. Remember, it takes practice and dedication to get familiar with your sewing machine truly. The more you learn about the way it works, the easier it will be to troubleshoot problems. And if you keep your machine running smoothly, you'll be able to sew all the products you desire. And that's it! Good luck with your work!